To start off with, my family loves pranks, and we all have a very morbid sense of humour. I don't know, think like Impractical Jokers meets The Addams Family. Also you should note, in all of these stories, my wife is usually travelling for business. Which is why I seem to fuck up a lot. Brothers, keep your ladies close, because they stop you doing dumb stuff like this. So, it's the day before St. Patrick's Day, and my daughter, who was probably like, I don't know, seven at the time, told me that kids at her school were making leprechaun traps. I had never heard of this tradition, but hey, it sounded pretty neat. Basically, so what you do is you put a box on the floor and you hold it up with a stick, right? Um, and then you place like cookies in it, hoping to trap a leprechaun. So it comes along, not stick, and gets trapped. You know, simple old trap. Next morning, the kids see the box tripped, and you open it up to see that the oh no, leprechaun got away, but left you a plastic cauldron full of gold chocolate coins. Pretty cute, right? Well, I can't ever just leave something alone. So I find the Halloween stuffed witch, which we have. And after my daughter goes to sleep, I cut the striped leggings and pointy shoes off and place them as if they're coming out of the fallen box. I then take some red food coloring and carrot corn syrup from a recipe for fake blood that I found on the internet. And I uh, made drag marks from the box all the way across the kitchen floor to the back door. The implication being that the box amputated the leprechaun's legs and he somehow managed to drag his body away. Anyway, so my daughter gets up and we go downstairs and uh, she's somewhat shocked but still not sure what's going on. I lift the box and there is this note. Your lust for chocolates and this forsaken trap cost me my legs! My legs, lassie, my legs! The memory of the Irish is long and vengeful. I will heal my broken body and I will return with my leprechaun brethren for revenge! So my daughter starts to freak out and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll nip this in the butt now and I'll, I'll tell her and I'm like, Molly, Molly, it's okay, it's a bad joke, it's not real. And to prove this, I dip my finger in the corn syrup and lick it. This is the first fuck up. I didn't know this, but red food coloring is bad. Like. Really, really bad. It's amazing you can use it and it doesn't make your cake icing taste like crap. So I put this to my lips and my face instantly cringes. So now she thinks I'm cringing because it's really blood. It takes me forever to calm her down. On the plus side, she did get a lot of chocolate and I mean like a lot of chocolate. Second fuck up. Now, I had a suspicion that the blood might stain my old linoleum floor somewhat, but I just didn't care because we were just at the point of getting the kitchen remodeled anyway. But wow, this stuff got on everything. I mean, literally everything. The floors, the walls, my skin. It just does not come off, by the way, either. The kitchen looked like a killing field. Wife? Wife not happy. Not happy at all with any of it. If you like this story, which I'm sure you did, make sure you check out this video right here about a boy that nearly got kidnapped from his quad bike in an orchid. It's a little bit spooky, that one. I'll see you over there.